Hey guys, this is Jeremy J and welcome to Illustrated Maths. Introduction to functions is the first of five videos I'm going to do under functions. Look out for my other videos, basics of functions, composite functions, inverse functions and the top 10 function questions and solutions. I'm going to use a machine as an analogy to explain functions. Let's call this machine a chopping machine. If you input food, as a result, you'll get chopped food. Let's say I put in some potatoes and the result would be chopped potatoes. If I use onions instead, my result would be obviously chopped onions. How do I put that analogy into an equation? Well, my chopping machine is my function f and my potatoes are my input. And the result is what happens to the potato, which is um, chopped potatoes, of course. If I change my input from potatoes to onions, my result would change as well. The result is what happens to the onions, which is chopped onions. So in general, if I put in food into the chopping machine, the result would be what happens to the food, which is chopped food. Now that we understand the analogy, let's put this in a mathematical equation. As you can see, the function f by itself is meaningless. Just like the machine, if you don't put food into the machine, you're not going to get any result. So for the function f to work, you must give some input. Let's say the function f is a multiple of 3. And I give it an input of 2. The result is the 2 multiplied with 3, which is 6. My input is 2 and my answer result is 6. Changing my input now, let's say 5, the result would be 5 multiplied 3 which is 15. So if we put in the input x, the answer would be 3x. x would represent any input, any numbers, and the 3x would be the answer. So f x equals to 3x. Function of x equals to 3x. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying until the end of the video and I hope it was helpful. I know that it's a bit weird for me to use uh, onions and potatoes to explain math but I just wanted to give you a new perspective on functions, something to make you understand to give you a visualization of uh, maths. This is how I'm going to approach maths. This is how I've approached maths all my life. I try to visualize things in my head. And um, I hope you liked it. If you did, please uh, click the like button and subscribe. Um, why you need to subscribe? Because I have lots of ideas for other topics i'm doing a lot of videos in this video itself on functions i'm going to explain many many other things i'm going to go through with you all the technicalities of functions i'm going to go through, through with you all the questions and how to answer function questions how to approach the questions how to understand what the question wants and how to answer them correctly. 
okay so hope to see you the next video thank you